you gave the fans a hell of a war against Martinez. Should we expect anything different against uh, Centron? Oh, you always gonna expect something different from me, you know what I'm saying? Because that fight with Martinez, Mr. Peterson told me, we're not gonna be bossing that. You, we don't know nothing about this guy. You only got two weeks to train for him and stuff, two and a half weeks. So you can go out and make this guy fight the whole night, you know what I'm saying? That's our strategy, make him fight the whole night. But this fight, you know what I'm saying? I'm training for Central, you know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be something totally much, much different, you know what I'm saying? I'm, like, a lot of guys say they watch tapes on guys and all that. You can't watch the tape on me, because you watch every tape on me, it's something different all the time, you know? So you can pay for one thing, but I may show you another thing. But whatever, you definitely going to know in that fight, I'm going to be throwing a lot of leather. Last fight you had, you had to prepare for a guy who was left-handed, then you come with a right-hander. Now, as you said, you have time to prepare for this guy. So it should be something we're going to expect some big, big fireworks from you. Oh, man, you're going to expect something totally different. You may see another uppercut from the other side of the arms. You may see behind the back. You, my fans going to see something, they're going to be like, you know what? Okay, Williams, he's he type of guy that you don't know what to expect. All you know to expect that you can be a good fight all the way through. Three minutes, the whole 12, or how long it lasts, you're going to be expecting something that you're going to be like, okay, you'll keep on your toes. You're going to be like, oh, what's going to happen? I don't want to turn my head. You're going to say, go get me a drink. I'm gonna be, I don't want to turn my head. You know what I'm saying? You're going to want to see everything that's going on because it's going to be something, you know what I'm saying? Knock down, drag out. You know, Home Depot Center, man, has been real good to you. It's where it starts. I mean, to give it back to the fans here in L.A., that's big. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like I say, man, the fans is what make us. You know, a lot of guys talking about, you know what I'm saying, they fight for themselves. They don't, I fight for my fans, you know what I'm saying, because my fans and stuff and people who are not my fans, they they, they, they the one that, that gives them all this kind of money and stuff. So why wouldn't you go out there and sign autographs all day long for them and stuff? What, like, you know what I'm saying, I, like, I got bent over backwards because, you know what I'm saying, they appreciate that more and stuff, you know, and they, they can respect, you know what I'm saying, okay, this guy, he don't, he don't gotta come over this banister, you know what I'm saying, to sign autograph. He can just sign an autograph with people who got the VIP passes, but he'll go out of his way to, to sign an autograph, take a picture, it'd be raining and stuff, still sign an autograph, taking pictures and stuff, cause, you know, cause they the ones that made me who I'm at, you know what I'm saying? I mean, nobody wanna see me and stuff, then of course y'all wouldn't be here now. If nobody, nobody nobody don't wanna see me. Who wanna see Williams? Then y'all wouldn't be here. But man, not looking past Centron, cause you never look past anybody. But you ask yourself, why are these other guys ducking you, man? That's got to be frustrating. You know, I ask myself that every time, you know what I'm saying, we get ready, we be looking for a fight, and it be months and months, and a fight be coming up real close to them, and people like, we ain't got no opponent yet. You know, I'm like, we ain't got no opponent. I'm like, why are you guys, and they kind of might not be hearing that the guy's offering stuff. I'm like, they turn out that kind of money and stuff. I'm like, what are they in the business for? You know what I'm saying? They want, but a lot of guys, they don't want to fight a hard, tough fight. When they know a guy going to be a hard fight and going to be a tough fight, they better pick somebody they could shine on, look good on. You know what I'm saying? I rather look good outside the ring. You know what I'm saying? But in the ring, I want to get in there. You know what I'm saying? And get it in. You know what I'm saying? Either you gonna be hitting me. I'm game for that. I know that. It's a fight. I, I expect for I, I'm gonna get hit. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, this guy trying to win. It's like you trying to win. So you gonna get hit. You may get knocked down, but it's all about how big your heart is and how much you gonna put in. You know, so how far you want to go. Yeah, they, they want to see. You know, what I'm saying they want to see they get their money's worth. I mean, if you paying all this, all this kind of crazy money for tickets, like they got tickets going for like fifteen hundred, two thousand, three thousand off, ten, ten thousand, twenty thousand dollars tickets and stuff. And you go in there, and you see a fight that's. You like, man, I could have took that money and did something else with that money. I, I, they be mad. They're leaving there. They want to fight somebody right now because they mad. Like, they got robbed. But they see a, a fight like this, 200 all tickets and stuff, and they're going to see a world class fight. And that's, that they're going to be like, okay, man, that was the best 200 I spent. You know what I'm saying? I, I got my money's worth. You know what I'm saying? I would have spent 10000 for that ticket or whatever. Last question. You can't uh, predict the future. I guess if you could, we'd both be sitting here rich because I'd be asking for a loan. Oh, <laughs> but, uh, if you had to say on May 8th, what's going to happen between you and Centron? May 8th, Paul Williams going to go out there and do what Paul Williams do best. You know, so he can go out there, he's going to put on a hell of a show for his fans and people who are not his fans. They're going to get to see some, some action pack. You know, so I know Centron going to be hitting me. I'm going to be hitting him. But I'm, I'm on this game like that. I mean, I got that mentality that you hit me, I'm going to hit you back. And I'm gonna hit you about three, four times. I wanna get, I wanna get the most of I can get. I wanna get, I'd be satisfied that when I walk out that ring, I'm like, okay, I, I got mine in. You know what I'm saying? Win or lose, I could, I could be like, I got mine in. I ain't running. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Took a knee or, or just pumped out, and I, I went and I fought. And you know what I'm saying? I, I put all, I put it all in. You know what I'm saying? I know he gonna try to go out there and prove something because. 
people say, oh, he ain't got the heart. They're saying that he, you know what I'm saying, he been beat his last couple of fights, and then he had one good fight, you know what I'm saying, at Google and all this and that. So I know he, I know he had all the critics and stuff, so I know he looking to make a big statement on me. But wrong day, no, no. He may get it some other day, but not this day. May 8th, that's my day.